tonight those most dangerous tyrants who have hidden behind God and the state whose abuses remain unpunished because no one can take them to task. That was one of the line in Jose Rizal's El Filibusterismo. Kaso nasa wika nga Ingles. Kirapakarap ng Tagalog. Anyway, let's proceed now to our uh, lesson. Okay, intro muna tayo. Our topic for today is Famous Filipino Playwrights by yours truly. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Also, like us on Facebook and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We are done with the Western playwrights and poets. Now, we will go to the Filipino poets and playwrights. So, I-discuss naman natin itong mga sariling atin and what makes them became famous. Before we go on to our lesson, let's have a trivia regarding our topic. All you have to do is guess the title of the Filipino play. So, number one, what is the title of this Filipino play? Do you have the answers? The correct answer is Florante at Laura. Next one. What is the title of this Filipino play based on Dr. Jose Rizal's novel? Right? The answer is El Filibusterismo. This is Crisostomo Ibarra, also known as Don Simon. Alright, next one. What is the title of this Filipino play? Tatlong magkakapatid. Have you guessed it? Alright, it's Ibong Adarna. Alright. Last one. Nako, nandito na yung sagot. What is the title of this uh, Filipino play made by Dr. Jose Rizal? A novel by Dr. Jose Rizal. Yes, it's Noli Mitanghere. Ayan po. This is Christos Namaidbara, Maria Clara, Sisa, and, you know, Padre Damaso. Alright, thanks for participating. Right, let's go to our lesson. Let's go now to our lesson. The famous Filipino playwrights. Who are these famous playwrights? So, number one, we have Francisco Baltazar. He was also known as Francisco Baltazar. His best known work is the Florante at Laura. Balagtas or Francisco Balagtas learned to write poetry from Jose de la Cruz, known as Jose Sisiu, one of the most famous poets of Tondo in Manila. It was de la Cruz himself who personally challenged Balagtas to improve his writing. His famous writing, again, was the Florante at Laura. Here's the sample of the Florante at Laura. It's a book. Ang pinaikling version. Florante, a duke of the kingdom of Albania, is tied to a tree lamenting the death of his father, Duque Briseo. He was driven mad by the thought that his beloved princess Laura has fallen into the arms of his enemy, Count Adolfo, the son of Count Sileno. The surname Baltazar sometimes misconstrued as a pen name. Originally, the legal surname of 
Francisco Baltasar Balagtas is or was Francisco Balagtas. Yan ang tunay niyang pangalan. Okay? Balagtas adopted after the 1849 edict of the Governor General Narciso Claveria E. Zaldua which mandated the native population adopt the standard Spanish surname instead of the native ones. Alright. Who is this Jose de la Cruz known as Jose Cecil? Okay. Jose de la Cruz, one of the three poets whose names are prominent for the use of corrido, a type or style of poem in the history of literature. Okay? The other two are Francisco Balagtas, his student, Ananias Zorilla. Okay? He is also given the honor of Hari ng Mga Makata or the king of the poets in the Philippines. Okay? And also, siya rin ang may akda ng librong Ibong Adarna. Ito ay uh, isang uh, dula. The next playwright is Severino Reyes, the son of Rufino Reyes and Andrea Rivera. Reyes was born in Santa Cruz, Manila on February 11, 1861. He studied at San Juan de Letran College and later at the University of Santo Tomas where he studied philosophy. In 1902, Reyes founded and directed the Gran Compañía de Zarzuela Tagala. On June 14, 1902, the company staged his play Walang Sugat or No Wounds, a drama set against the historical events in Bulacan during the Philippine Revolution. At meron pa siyang ibang isinulat gaya ng mga kwento ni Lola Basyang. Ito ang mga nilalaman ng Kwento ni Lola Basyang. Number one, we have Alamat ng Lamok. We have Anting-Anting or Amulet. Ang Binibining Tumalo sa Mahal na Hari. Ang Kapatid ng Tatlong Maria. We have number five, Twelve Mary Princess. Number six, Ang Mahiwagang Biulin. We have Ang Mahiwagang Kuba. Number eight, we have Ang Pitong We have Ang Prinsipeng Duwag. And number 10, Ang Prinsipeng Ungoy. Sino yun? And etc. Okay. Severino Reyes, also known as Don Binoy, and his pen name was Lola Basyang. Bakit Lola Basyang? Mamaya. Okay. Reyes wrote 26 zarzuelas and 22 dramas in his career. Okay. He is known as the father of Tagalog plays and as the father of Tagalog Zarzuela. Okay, Reyes helped found the Liwayway magazine in 1922 and is recognized for pioneering the Tagalog Renaissance or ibang term Renaissance during his lifetime. His stories under the pen name Lola Basyang were the magazine most widely read feature. Okay, ano ba itong uh, Lola Basyang na to? Yung pen name niya. Okay. He is, or he was the writer of the children's book Mga Kwento ni Lola Basyang. Actually, na isa pelikula na itong uh, Mga Kwento ni Lola Basyang. Okay. And, did you know, na ipalabas pa ito sa GMA 7. Actually, ah, uh, Marami tayong mapupulot na aral dito sa mga kwento ni Lola Basyang. If you have time or after you watch this uh, vlog, you may uh, search it on this YouTube channel, kay mga kwento ni Lola Basyang. Napakaganda nito at marami, ulit ko, marami kayong mapupulot na aral dito. The next Filipino playwright is Dr. Professor Ricardo Abad a full-time faculty at Department of Sociology and Anthropology, Artistic Director, Tanghalang Ateneo, Metrobank Network Outstanding Teachers, Pathways, Ateneo de Manila University Role Players, Theaters for Life Social Weather Stations. 
He has been involved as actor and director in over 120 productions while at the same time doing sociological works as teacher, researcher, and editor. Here are the shots. A scene from Sintang Dalisay. We have a scene from It's April. What are we doing here with Teroy Guzman and Missy Maramara and Judy Ick by Dr. Ricardo Abad. About Dr. Professor Ricardo G. Abad, okay, he has also directed and acted for professional companies like Teatro Filipino and Tanghalang Filipino of the Cultural Center of the Philippines and the Metropolitan Theater that's in Manila okay many of his uh, theater productions were classics of western drama but in terms of a Filipino and Asian sensibility okay like Shakespeare, Romeo, and Juliet. And lastly, one of the most famous Filipino playwright is Salvador Badong Bernal, the father of theater design in the Philippines, born in 1945 to a family that ran a turno shop. He was the first to develop theater design as a profession and elevate it into an art form. He studied at the Ateneo de Manila and at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, USA. Practiced and handled courses in the arts and crafts of theater design. Taught briefly at the Ateneo de Manila and University of the Philippines. He had designed more than 250 productions in ballet, theater, and film. Here are his masterpiece. Now look at those artworks. The props, the costumes, the backdraft. What a beautiful masterpiece. We have Salvador Badong F. Bernal the national artist for theater design. Okay. Bernal organized the Philippine Association of Theater Designers and Technicians in 1995, through which he introduced Philippine theater design to the world. Most of his uh, artworks are very unique. Kagaya ng mga pinakita ko sa inyong mga pictures, okay. yung kanyang mga design ay Hindi mo basta-basta magagaya yan. Okay? Gumawa muna siya ng mga rough draft and sketches bago niya i-finalize to as an uh, output like yung mga nakikita natin. Okay? So, the book Salvador F. Bernal Designing the Stage by Nicanor G. Tiongson. Mga magandang libro ito and Hopefully, uh, may makita ko nito sa National Bookstore or other uh, bookstore. Okay? This is a comprehensive review of Bernal's work as a designer for theater. Okay? With over 200 full-colored photographs of his sketches, models, and actual costumes and sets contemplating the text. I want to uh, see all those uh, design. Okay? Lalo sa mga paggawa ng mga props. May huwag mo mga props. Eh, like yung mga ginagamit sa mga cosplay. Yan. Like mga swords. Pero ito kay Bernal, stage design talaga. Very unique. And here are our references. Did you learn something in our lesson? If you learn something or if you get an inspiration in those uh, Filipino playwrights, comment down below kung anong mga natutunan ninyo. Okay? 
And who is your favorite Filipino playwrights and why? Okay. So for me, okay, sasagutin ko yung sarili ko nga tanong. My favorite uh, Filipino uh, playwright. Okay, we have uh, Francisco Balagtas. When it comes to uh, playwright, okay, mostly yung kanyang mga tula ay mga malalalim na Tagalog. And we have uh, Salvador Badong Bernal, okay. Nung makita ko yung kanyang mga gawa, it's uh, very unique and very, it's actually realistic talaga. Okay, from the stage, the costumes, though I haven't seen his uh, sketches. Okay, sa picture pa lang, uh, makikita mo talaga yung mga effort na ginawa niya. Lalo na sa mga actual na stage play. Okay, talagang mapapa standing ovation ka sa kanyang mga obra maestra. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell for notifications. And also, like us on Facebook, The Hobbyist Artist. Thanks for watching!